Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how I personally send over 2000 DMs on Facebook every single day and how you can do the same. So what are we going to look at is how to scrape leads for free on Facebook by scraping Facebook groups. I'm also going to show you what automation tool you can use that costs approximately $10 per month or something like that, that you can also use for multiple Facebook accounts. So the costs are really low and the results are extremely high, right? So I'm also going to show you how to personalize the messages and how to get the best targeting possible. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So let me just minimize the camera real quick. I don't really care about my face. And so let's get down to it. So first of all, we got to find some group, right? So we type in the keyboards we want. So for example, agency owners for me. And uh, then we are going to look at groups results. Now, uh, you can have multiple approaches here, right? So you can either join the hyper-targeted groups, hyper-niche groups of maybe, well, I don't know, 1,000, 2,000 members. These can, these can be private groups, these can be even paid groups. And this is where you are gonna get the most high-quality leads. So if you are, for example, reaching out for your high ticket offer and you just want specific type of person, that's what I would go with. On the other hand, if you're just reaching out for people to maybe get more members into your group, to get more people to watch our content. It can be more broad and uh, you can just target these groups that it just have more people in it, right? So in our case, let's just choose go high level agency owners. And this is a good example. Okay, so what you need to do next is uh, go here to this page. This is what I found uh, recently. And this is gonna allow us to scrape these for free. Now, uh, you can use Instant Data Scraper if you know what I'm talking about, but this is even better for that. So what you just need to do, open it up. I'm going to share all the links in the description so you can follow along and just scroll down here. You got to copy this text and we are going to go to the steps, right? So you need to go to the Facebook group page, open Chrome, hit inspect here, hit console. Uh, you can delete this, you can read this, right? So what you then want to do is, uh, in the message it's going to ask us to confirm so we need to type in allow pasting and then we're going to paste it again okay and we are good so what happened here is that as you can see here it loads up this thing which is just incredible let me show you how well, let me show you how it works right so we then go into people and uh, we start scrolling down right so if you have a mouse you can hit this button right here. And if you hit it and just uh, hover down low, it's gonna start scrolling for you. So what's happening right now, we're just scrolling. It's automatically capturing the users, right? So let's just leave it up for maybe 10, 20 seconds to show how it works. By the way, the cap that I've found with this is about after 16,000 users, it's uh, gonna collapse. And so, just keep in mind that you can get up to, I believe, 16,000. Maybe your PC is going to be different, but for me, the most I could get to was 16,000 members. So you can either split it into batches if you are scraping the bigger groups or just aim for a group that's about that number if you are going to use this, right? Okay, so let's say we want to go down to 500. Ideal. Okay, so what we do now is we just hit download and that's it as easy as that okay so credit to these guys that uh put it out for free i'm just promoting it spreading the good word and uh yeah let's continue out so next up what do we need to do we need to upload it into google sheets okay so we're gonna hit import here and just gonna upload it and we are gonna replace current sheet so it imports here and here we go. That's it, that easy, okay? And uh, so what do we do? Next up is uh, the only thing that is interesting to us, we can delete this row, we can delete these rows. If you want, you can like juggle with this or maybe like only get an active members if you are scraping bigger, but, but for us, the only important thing is the full name and profiling. Now, what you can also do is if you want to be really niche at your targeting, if you just want to target specific people with some specific bio keywords. Uh, by the way, I'm sharing this uh, Google Sheets as well with you because there are two formulas here. 
that I would want you to know about. So first of all, this is gonna be for the first name. So let me show you how it works. You just copy a formula here and you create here another column to the right, paste it, and then just double click bottom corner here and uh, you're good to go, right? So this is the first name, extremely easy to do. And if you wanna personalize the bio, so what do you then need to do is put the bio in the E column as it, is, as it is guided here. And then you just copy this. You can paste it next to it. And then if you double click it, you will see that these, these six uh, cells are what should contain the keyword, right? So we can go, we can try it out. So let's say owner, okay? And we're gonna split it. Oh wait, we need to populate it. So owner, founder, CO, agency, whatever. How many were there? Five, six, okay. Agency, uh, marketing, and uh, let's say client, okay? Now, what we are gonna do next is just put it like this. We have to do manually because some of the bios are empty, so it would not allow us to uh, spread it like this. If you wanna do it, if you have a big file, and don't want the people with the empty uh, rows, what you can just do hit here is just hit filter, click here, filter by condition, is not empty, and then you, then you have it, right? So right here, uh, it starts comparing, right? So it takes the, okay, so it takes the one in the L. So, oh, okay, got it. So we uh, made a mistake here. So let's come back, step, uh, let's just copy this and delete it. And we are gonna put this into G. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, so this is, this is how it should be, right? So I made a mistake here. The bio should be in the G column in this case. By the way, if you have differently, then uh, you can just navigate with it like I just did then right now you can just keep moving it like you want it's just in the first uh when you are first inserting it it's got to be in the place where we set it up first and so what it says right it says uh are the yes if it's content if it contains one of the keyboards or it says no if it doesn't contain them right so then what you can do is just have the ones that have yes in it and this is going to be your end result right so then what you would do you can do a couple things right so if you want to get personalized, a lot of personalized, what you can go do is put this, you could, you could like uh, download this, go into GPT and let it create you a personalized message for people based on, the, uh, based on the bio, but we're not really here to do that today. I'm just gonna show you the basics, right? So we're just gonna need the, full, the first name and the profile link, right? So uh, what you're just gonna do is, uh, if you would be splitting it into more uh, batches, you, you would be creating like another sheet, another sheet where you'd be basing these things. But for now, uh, we will move on to the next step and then I will show you how to tweak this sheet just a little bit more so that we can use it in the automation. So next up we got to download is Messenger Bot. This extension, uh, I think it costs like $12 or something. It's the best one I used compared to, uh, there are better ones uh, to be honest, but they are quite more expensive. So this one is what I would call the best bang for a buck. And uh, yeah, you can just log into it. I have premium uh, subscription. You can go to bots and let's create a new bot. So let's go to test. And if you want to personalize messages, you got to upload a CSV, right? So what is going to say here, this is going to be the sample file you're probably not gonna see it okay you're not gonna see it but essentially what we need to do if you want the first name is we want to have it like this this in this format right and the profile url needs to be like this okay so just keep that in mind that the header columns here need to be like this for the for these two if you want to use them for the bio it could be anything you want now, what we just need to do here is just hit download, CSV, then we can go back into the bot, 
back to create a desk, personalized. Uh, go here. And as you can see, it's got a 500 rows. And can DM previews use it? We don't really want that. So DM list, we can select this one, for example. And here, so if you have a fresh uh, Facebook account, you want to start slow. If you have not been doing any outreach before, you also want to start slow. So I recommend you to ramping this up to about, so here, 45, 30. So this is the pause between each DM. And here, uh, we can also do get it up to 30 to 45 just to make sure in the beginning we are not overkilling anything and we are not getting uh, any suspensions now what you also want to do is hit here in the uh, this is where we are creating the scripts so what you can do here is that cat type hey and this is the formula first name uh, how is it going? Obviously, I would not be using this script, but just for the purpose, uh, to uh, just for the demonstration. Now, you can also add more variations, but I would recommend to have at least three variations of the same script. You can, you could, you can just change something there. Uh, you can keep the point the same, but uh, just to make sure we are not getting into any troubles. And then we are basically uh, good to go. We can just deploy the bot can see it's gonna start working and uh, we should expect to see a new message pretty soon okay so uh, it found a new person David Elia that's actual first in the list right I forgot to tell you that if you want the uh, this one, if you want to filter out results, what you need to do is just copy the uh, results here, copy the first name and the profile URL and hit here, uh, paste special and values only. And so this will make sure you only get the 70 because what happened right now is it essentially acted as we don't have any filters. So you will see that David Elia is the first one that it is going to message, right? And so uh let me check the messages just real quick this is how it looks like let me move the camera face can reset this All right and so uh yeah this is uh, what i'm doing here and uh this is what you can do the same right so just to recap use this to scrape leads if you want uh you can find something else but this is from my experience the best uh thing out there and it is for free now next up, you download Messenger bot, you upload the list of, uh, to the Google Sheets, you tweak it like you want, you can apply the keywords, you can uh, have the first name there, you can just uh, look at it in this uh, sheet that's gonna be in the description of the video. And uh, yeah, get started. If you already have done this, and if you know that you have proof of concept of Facebook outreach and just wanna scale the volume, Feel free to book a call with me down below and we can talk how I can, how I can help you get to the numbers of 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 DMs. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video.